Another question we're being asked, uh, first of all, we're being told that we need to do everything to the proper number of significant figures. You only have to do this for questions that specifically mention it. For all other questions, you should be able to use three sig figs, three I guess I should use, but uh, three sig figs or all the digits in your calculator for the stuff that you turn in for um, that's graded by the learning management system. So anyway, I've got my calculator, I've got my pen. It says calculate the percent error of the following three measurements if the correct value is 1.43 grams. I've got my three measurements. Enter your answer with the correct number of significant figures, but do not enter units. I don't think there's any times you enter units the entire semester. All right, so let's start with the percent error formula. Percent error is going to be um, uh, experimental value, which in this case will be an average. minus correct value over the correct value times 100%. And I said that a little fast, but over the correct value <coughs> and then off to the side times 100%. So, and like I said, this uh, experimental value in this case, and typically will be an average so we're going to take the average of these three numbers. Average means add them all up and divide by three. One point eight eight plus one point eight three plus one point four four. I get five point one five. Divide that by three. I get one point seven one six 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 six. But uh, since I have three sig figs here and I'm doing sig figs carefully, I'm going to keep 1.72 as my average. You could also keep uh, 1.7167 and underline the one just to make sure you know there's three sig figs. And either of these will work for this and any problem that you do in this class. All right. Um, and this is particularly important for the lab to keep track of sig figs. So that's my uh, average experiment, and that's from my experiment, so that's why that's there. My correct value, well, um, again, we could use either the 1.72 or the 1.7167. Uh, I tend to use the 1.72, so that's what I'll do. And the math doesn't care, but I like to carry my units through this. My correct value is 1.43. And that'll be times 100%. And uh, one thing to point out here is that percent error can be negative. It's going to end up being positive here. But uh, if your experimental value or your average experimental value was less than the correct value, it would produce a negative number. That's fine. Percent error can be negative. All right, so multiplying this out, I get 1.72 minus 1.43. This time, hit the equal sign first to get the number for the top, and then do the divided by 1.43, and then times the 100%. And, aha, uh -huh, we're doing subtraction. So, I'm going to stack them up. And I get 0 0.29. And regardless of which value I used here, my answer needs to have two, oh, off screen there, I need to have two sig figs. And my answer of 20.2 blah, blah, blah is really going to be uh, 20%, which is ambiguous. And uh, you should not see any ambiguous numbers on your homework, by the way. But the proper way to do this 
would be to enter it as 2.0 times 10 to the 1, excuse me, 1%, because that lets me know that both of those digits are significant, right in line with all that we've been talking about with significant figures. Scientific notation is the best way to do it always. And it needs to be done this way since we have an ambiguous zero at the end here. As far as I know, there's none of the ambiguous zeros on the um, homework problems. I'll keep my fingers crossed here that that's true. Let me know if it's not.